안녕하십니까? Nicolas and on this video I would like to share with you advice for programmers given by some of the best programmers of all time. I've been listening to the Lex Friedman podcast with legends like the creator of Java or the creator of C++, among many others, and today I bring you a compilation of the notes I have taken that I hope can be helpful for you. If you like this kind of content and you would like to see more of it, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Just two clicks, like and subscribe. It's free for you, but it helps me a lot. Now let's get started. John Carmack is one of the best computer programmers ever. Pioneer of 3D graphics, he was the lead programmer of legendary games like Wolfstein 3D, Doom, and Quake. Now he is working as the CTO of Oculus VR at Meta. And this is how he answered the question, what makes a good programmer? Being proud about like a specific architecture or a specific technology or a specific code sequence that you've done, it's great to get a little smile, like a tiny little dopamine hit for that, but the, the top level metric should be that you're building things of value. He says that providing actual value for people, building useful things for our users, is what our focus as developers should be on, rather than focusing too much on the tech, architecture, or algorithms that we use. He also talks about how by making useful products, we are making the world a better place. I mean, it sounds trite or corny, but I fundamentally do think that's how you make the world a better place. If you have given more value to people than it took you and your team to create, people have, uh, they've gone from something of lesser value, chosen to use your product, and their life feels better for that. And if you've produced that economically, that's, that's a really good thing. And this is what he thinks about the value of obsessing over something and working hard rather than having work-life balance. I, you know, work-life balance versus kind of your life's work, where there's a small subset of the people that can be very happy being obsessive about things. And, you know, obsession can often get things done that just practical, prudent, pedestrian work won't, or at least won't for a very long time. Of course, this depends on the kind of work we are doing. If we are doing our life's work, our masterpiece, our magnus opus, obsessing over it might be the way to go. James Gosling, the creator of a tiny unknown language called Java, also talks about the value of working hard. The, the people who say you should work smart, not hard, they pretty much always fail. That's just, just a recipe for disaster. He also advises young people to not be afraid of risks and do stupid things. Don't be afraid of risk. It's okay to do stupid things once. And he brings up a topic that we developers don't talk much about, ethics. I started to think about ethical choices in my life. A big science fiction fan, I got to thinking about just about every technical decision I make mm -hmm. in terms of, are you building Blade Runner or Star Trek? Which, which future would you rather live in? I guess what he means is that we, developers, have the power of creation at our fingertips, and we should spend time thinking what kind of world are we building. We should all reflect on what kind of jobs we would say no to, like working for an oppressive government or for a company building harmful products. Bjorn Strostrup, the creator of C++, says that it is good for a professional programmer to know at least five programming languages. I mean, if you're a monoglot, you are likely to think that your own culture is the only one superior to everybody else's. A good learning of a foreign language and a foreign culture is important. It helps you think and be a better person. With programming languages, you become a better programmer. Now, once you've got two, the way to five is not that long. It's the second one that's most important. He recommends that we learn machine code in C++, then learn a functional programming language like Haskell, and choose other languages to be able to build something quickly like Python, JavaScript, or Ruby. George Hodge, a legendary programmer and hacker, famous on the iPhone jailbreaking scene and sued by Sony for hacking into a PlayStation, says that the best way to learn to code is to have a problem we want to solve. You're never going to learn programming by watching a video called Learn Programming. The only way to learn programming, I think, everyone I've ever met who can program well yeah. learned it all in the same way. They had something they wanted to do, and then they tried to do it. And then they were like, oh, well, okay, this is kind of, you know, it'd be nice if the computer could kind of do this thing. And then, you know, that's how you learn. You just keep pushing on a project. 
I super agree with this. Nothing is better than learning by doing and learning to solve a problem, not just learning to learn by using learning as a vehicle to accomplish something else. Travis Olipan, the creator of NumPy, SciPy and Anaconda has a pretty good list of what makes a good programmer. I would say there's a number of things, a couple of things. One is curiosity. Like you, I, I think a programmer without curiosity is uh, mundane. Like it, you'll lose interest, you won't do your best work. If we are not curious, we're going to have a hard time staying up to date as developers and growing in our career. Learning new things should not feel like a chore. It should feel like a hobby. Using other people's work, right? Don't be afraid that somehow you're like, you should do it all. Like mm -hmm. nobody does. Really, you want to cut and paste, but, but, but not blindly. Oh, this is what this means. Oh, this is what it's doing. And understand you know, as much as you can. So it's critical. That's where the curiosity comes in. If you're just blindly cutting and pasting, you're not gonna understand. It's okay to copy paste someone else's work, but the least thing we can do as developers is understand what the code is doing and why it is working. When talking about the kind of people that he hires, he talks about humility and wanting to learn. One of the big things I look for is somebody that fundamentally recognizes their need to, le to learn. Like one of the values that we, we have in all of the things we do is learning. If somebody thinks they know it all, they're, they're gonna struggle. Thank you for watching this video and please let me know in the comments what advice did you like the most. If you have some advice to share, please leave it on the comments because I'm gonna be looking at them right now. And don't forget, if you want to learn Python, JavaScript, React, React Native, go among many other things for absolutely free, click the link below and I will see you there. Onur do, kamsam nida. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.